Hello friends, welcome to Fun Drawing with Piali. Here we show you different type of drawing with fun and easy way. So if you want to learn drawing in a fun and easy way with fun facts, then subscribe to our channel. Now let's start with today's topic. Hi little friends, it's great to be finally here again with you all. Here we are today having a really exciting topic. As we always do something exciting and special here in Fun Drawing with Piali. And today's topic, drawing the story from Aesop's Fable. The story is the milkmaid and her pail. So are you all excited? I know you can't wait and seems very exciting. So let's make a start. My little friends, you know there is something magical and charming about drawings. And when it comes to story drawing, it becomes much more exciting. I remember to draw and tell stories from my childhood. It was fascinating to see the story come together on paper to make a final picture. Today we will make our drawing more exciting with drawing a story only. Let's see what is it about. Yes. Meanwhile, we are drawing this uh, story. Let's hear the story, uh, the milkmaid and the and her pain. So let's hear a short story of this first. There was once a milkmaid named Patty. She milked her cow and carried the two pails of milk she fetched on a stick and set out to sell the milk at the market. As she was walking to the market, she began to daydream about what she would do with the money she got for the milk. She thought of buying a hen, selling its eggs and she planned on becoming wealthy. She dreamt of buying a cake basket of strawberries, a fancy dress, and even a new house with the money she would make selling the eggs and the milk. In her excitement, she forgot about the pail she was carrying and began to skip. Suddenly, she realized that the milk was spilling down and when she checked her pails, they were empty. angels this was a very short and sweet story from Aesop's fables the milkmaid and her pain. So Aesop, Aesop was supposed uh, author of a collection of Greek fables almost suddenly a legendary figure. Aesop is believed to have been born around 600 BC and to have died around 560 BC. This seems consistent with the first mention of him in the ancient texts like Herodotus's history in 425 BC. Some records also suggest you know that he was a slave and had physical deformities. Even we can see that he had speech impediment. Nasok's fables have indirectly inspired a number of movies, television shows, plays, modern books and it seems that his life may not have been easy but his gifts of wit and storytelling can inspire generations with both good literature and morals.
my cute little friends now that we have heard the story what moral we can take away from this uh, drawing of the story that do not count on your chickens before they are hatched so that means we should wait for the things to be done we should walk towards it and not to dread daydream about before uh, the work is done so my cute angels we hope you enjoy today's storyboard so till we meet next week with exciting drawing watch fun drawing with piyali wow that's fantastic drawing thank you my little friends for joining in today and do not forget to subscribe our channel if you like our drawing sessions and you want to learn this fun and easy way of drawing and grow your knowledge with fun facts we will see you soon with another exciting topic till then stay safe at home bye bye